Hello guys and welcome to today's Django class. Um, today we're going to be talking about environment variables in Django and we are also going to talk about templating in Django. Um, okay, so quick one. Um, so what are environment variables in Django? An environment variable is a value that can affect the way running processes will behave on a computer. They are part of the environment in which the process runs. But then these variables are also set outside of the program functions and they are incorporated back into the program via functionalities that are built in the operating system, the microservice or web framework dependent. And then also environment variables are made up of name value pairs. So that means it has a name and it has a value. So for instance, we have the secret key here and we have a value for the secret key. So now the secret key is the name and the value here in quotes is what we call the uh, yeah the value and from what we have in the slide here um, environment variables were introduced in their modern forms in 1979 with version 7 unix and they are all included in unix operating system flavors and variants including linux and mac os so if you're running in linux or if you're running um, a Mac OS X, then you can actually um, relate to what is here. If not, then this is a new stuff we've learned. And then the next slide here is why environment variables. Okay, so environment variables help us secure our apps. Um, they help us keep sensitive bits of code and sensitive values like passwords, API keys. Uh, even some boolean values and we're going to see some examples when we dive into um, the coding parts of this tutorial so it, it helps save those sensitive data or values of ours from prying eyes and hackers on the internet and people that are looking to take advantage of your system so making use of environment variables helps secure your application and it helps keep the application safe when it goes into production all right and to let's make a quick reference at okay so i'm um, sorry you can actually um read up more on best security pra practices in django in the official django documentation which i have on the next tab here um so instead of saving your password directly in your settings file or your configuration files depending on uh, okay, so this is Django in the settings file. Yeah, so instead of saving it in the settings file, all right, it's better to actually put this um, these environment variables in in a separate in a separate file, a separate folder, a separate environment. Actually, just somewhere safe. And today, um, I'm going to be showing us an example of how we can keep our environment variables in our virtual environment okay so um, to participate in this class you would need at least know how to set up a virtual environment for your python program um, or your django project actually and so yeah let's dive into a quick example and demonstrating all the stuff we just talked about environment variables so here we are going to be creating a mini django project from the scratch and we are going to um, demonstrate using uh, we're going to demonstrate how we can keep our uh, environment variables safe using the virtual environment so um, firstly we are going to need to create a folder um, a project folder and in the folder we'll create our virtual environment and create our django uh, install Django, create our Django project and our Django application and get to do all the play around we're going to do on Django in this file. So feel free to create a folder. Uh, I'll be creating mine from the terminal here. So if you're running a Linux or a Mac OS and you just want to dive in, you can feel free to use the terminal as well. It's, it's fun. So we're going to do make directory environment variables. All right, enter. Okay, so we can actually 
see that it has appeared okay so this is it env virus so we can actually see that it has appeared in on the desktop okay so i'll cd into this um, folder okay so now i can start my django installation but firstly i'll create a virtual environment using ppm um, if you're using the virtual env um, there's also a command for it so feel free but if you're using ppm you can use ppm shell to create a virtual environment so oh, okay that was fast it's done okay so now we're going to install django okay oh sorry that was the wrong command um, okay so this is going to install the latest version of django in our project folder so we're going to wait for a little bit for it to install wow and this is taking some time Okay, so I think I'll have to pause this video and come back when, when the installation is done and we can continue.